Yo, what is going on guys, Bob? Yo, what is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have another video for you guys. So it has been a while since we've done this. We usually do this every single new meta, but today what we have for you guys is another top 10 brawlers in Brawl Stars list. Now this is a completely different list than it was like a month ago. It's really crazy how much, you know, the brawlers in the meta has changed. And this is a lot, a lot different than what we've done last time. So make sure you guys stick around for all 10 of the brawlers. So you guys can see what to play and what not to play. Now, before we get into this video, I'm doing a very big giveaway on Twitter right now. I'm giving away with Nat one spike plushie and just like this whole cool brawl box. It's exclusive only to creators. Myself and Nat are giving one out. There is no other way to get this. It's only through giveaways, through content creators. And I think we're the only ones doing one right now. So make sure the link is in the description to enter. It's your only chance to get a plushie. You know, you guys can see one in the, on the back. I'm pointing at the Poco. I'm at the back over there. All the creators have a plushie. You guys can have one too. But anyways, with that being said, let's hop into the video and let's get into this. All right, so here we go at number 10 and we are starting with none other than Pam. Now, Pam has kind of been on the edge of our top 10 list as of, as of late. Uh, she's kind of been on the edge of the meta. She's always been decent. She's a very versatile brawler. You know, she's good from range. She has a lot of HP, but she's also good up close as that DPS. She's a very effective brawler and is good free to play as well. You don't need her gadget or her star powers for her to be really good. So unlike a brawler like Gale, where you need the jump pad to be good. With this brawler, you can just get it. And then at level seven or level six, it can be a really strong brawler. So you don't really need all that power, all those gadgets, all that everything. But yeah, Pam is a really good brawler. She's been at the edge of the meta for a while. She is really strong and she is going to start off our top 10 list. So let's get into number nine and let's show you guys what it is. Here we go into number nine and it's none other than the homie Gene. Now Gene took a really big fall probably the biggest fall from two metas ago to the last meta it was like a top five brawler and it went all the way down to somewhere in the 20s gene just didn't do good against sprout or mr p who was the top of the meta for a little bit or even surge for that matter so being a gene main and you guys know i love gene it was kind of a sad moment for all of us but Gene is slowly starting to make his way back in, in the meta he did get a little bit of a buff where it takes one less like tweak of a shot one less whatever it is one less edge of a gene shot in order to get a super so we can cycle super he can pull someone hit him three times and he has a super right back which is actually very dangerous for killing multiple targets and gene is really really good in siege now um unfortunately gene only has two gadgets right now so gene still isn't you know a top five brawler or really anywhere close to the top five brawlers but he's slowly making his way back up you guys didn't see that poll right there, by the way. Hopefully, he becomes, you know, a top five soon. Hopefully, he gets his third gadget back because he does really need it. But that is going to be our number nine. So, let's move into number eight and let's get into it. So, coming in at number eight is going to be Tick. Now, you guys might be pretty surprised that Tick is on this list as it's been a very long time since Tick has been in the meta. But against the current meta, Tick is actually really good as we're going to get higher up in this list. You're going to see a lot of brawlers might be squishier. And you know, there's not really that many tanks such as Daryl, Jackie, Rosa in the top 10. There's actually zero tanks in the top 10. The tankiest brawler you could say is Pam, but even Tick does fairly well against Pam. And you know, that just makes Tick really good. The fact that, you know, the control brawlers and the low HP brawlers are meta. Tick does a really good job against those as he has the range. He just hides behind a wall and just chucks those shots. Now, the thing with Tick that does make him so good is that if anyone does get close to him or if you're facing like a Mortis or a Daryl, you do have your Tick head. So you can just save that and they can't do anything to you. And then you really don't get countered by anything. Um, you know, Tick still is a little bit under underpowered. He's not, you know, going to run up to your face and just wipe out your team. But he's a really good brawler, you know, he's going to be really good for a while and he definitely deserves his spot here. So that's going to be the number eight. Let's move on to number seven. Let's keep this list going. Coming in at number seven, we are going to have Carl. Now, Carl has been in kind of the top five or the edge of the top five for a couple metas now. He got a little bit stronger as of late. You know, he's obviously really good at, you know, shooting around corners. Both of his star powers are really good and useful in their own ways. His super is really good. Now, again, I've said this a bunch of times when talking about Carl. The only thing that holds him back is his gadget. If he had a gadget that was useful for more than one thing, the only thing his gadget is useful for is when you're, you know, trying to defend a siege bot or on a high safe or defending something, you know, trying to do a lot of damage to one little place. That's really the only time that the gadget is useful. It's not really useful any other way um so if he did have a good gadget i feel like he would be a top five brawler in the last couple metas for the last few months 
but he isn't going to be there yet so he's going to be in our number seven spot but it doesn't take anything away from him he's good in like every single mode he's an absolute goat and he is a very very good brawler so with that being said let's move on to number six and let's show you guys what it is so hopping in at number six we are going to do a live game the reason we're doing a live game is because i would have done it on my other account and pre-recorded the games but unfortunate, well, I guess fortunately, my brawler is rank 35 right now. And that's like 15 minutes matchmaking. I don't want to extend the time it takes to record this video by 15 minutes. So we're going to briefly talk about Sprout while I play it on my mini. Or not Sprout, sorry, Barley while I play it on my mini. You know, Barley's just a super good brawler. I don't have the gadget on my mini, but the second gadget is really good for holding control at the start of games, especially at top level when things are even, but even the other gadget is really good because the only counter to Barley is like tanks or something like that. And you can just counter the tanks by putting the gadget down at your feet and they won't be able to do anything. Now, besides that, Barley is really good in Siege and Heist. has been one of the best brawlers in Siege and Heist for a very long time. You guys already know that, but it's also very good at just holding control now in modes like, you know, Brawl Ball or Gem. So Barley is actually really well-rounded with the current meta being control where other good brawlers are also low in HP. Uh, Barley is also able to take them out really easily while hiding behind a wall. It's not like a tank or anything that Barley can't take out. So this is why Barley is going to be number six on our list. Now let's hop over into the top five and show you guys what top five is. Coming in at number five, we are going to have Spike. So entering the top five, you know, Spike hasn't been here for a, a pretty long time, to be honest. You know, this brawler, um, it obviously has its strengths and weaknesses. Its strengths obviously is going up against, you know, brawlers such as tanks or anything. And the reason that tanks aren't doing very good in this meta is strictly because of the fact that a lot of stuff like Spike or damage dealers are really high up in the meta. But Spike is really, really good. And that actually makes me really happy because Spike is a pretty high skill brawler. It's been a high skill brawler since the start of the game. It's one of the original brawlers in the game. One of the original, I believe 13 or 15. I forgot what the number was. But Spike, you know, he's just a really cool brawler. He has a really cool, you know, kit, you know, usage stuff. You know, his super is really cool. A lot of him is really cool, and he's pretty versatile. He's good everywhere besides, you know, bounty. He can even be used in heist since his gadget is really good at taking out a heist. Even in siege, his gadget's really good at defending siege bots. You see pros do that a lot. But Spike is just, you know, a really well-rounded brawler, really tough brawler to beat if you're really good at him. His gadget, you know, is good, but isn't it is not an essential. Same with his star power. So, you know, he's just a really good brawler all around. If you have Spike, you should be happy that you have the legendary Spike. But that is going to be it for top or for number five, the first one in the top five. So let's hop on to number four. And these brawlers are kind of on a tier on their own. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what these really strong four brawlers are. So coming in at number four, and we're going to have a live game for this one. It's going to be Sprout. Now, the reason we have a live game is because the replays decided not to work. Like always, you guys know how it is. Same thing with Barley almost kind of but uh but yeah so sprout is just a really annoying brawler you know it does a lot of things really well but basically it's the king of control it's definitely the best brawler when it comes to just sitting back spamming shots and holding control and if you want to go aggro with it you can very easily because you can just eat grass if you're ever low hp and get right back to full you know as you guys can see i was half health i ate grass went back to full and obviously these walls are just super toxic you just chuck shots over walls there is nothing that these enemy brawlers can do if you're a sprout it's insanely toxic i don't like this brawler it's one of my least favorite brawlers in the game right now and i want it out but anyways that's going to be it for sprout and let's head into the next spot and show you guys what the top three is. So coming in at number three and entering the top three, and these three ballers are on, you know, their own tier. I know I said, you know, the top four are, but number four is a little bit below. We have Bo. Now, Bo is like the most annoying brawler I think I've dealt with in a while. You guys know I didn't like Mr. P for a long time. Uh, that's because Mr. P countered Gene, and it was kind of hard to beat. Wasn't, you know, too skilled of a brawler in my opinion. But now, you know, Bo is just really triggering me because of these stun mines you know brawlers can walk on top of the mines they don't even have to be on top of the mines because they have explosive radius kind of like brock shot and there's nothing that they can do about it you just click that stun and they're stuck there you can just completely take them out it's not balanced at all in my opinion i don't know how these bow mines that are stationary and very easy to get hits on have a two second stun and a dynamite gadget shot only has one stun you know that, that doesn't really make too much sense to me or 1.5 second stun I, you know it doesn't make too much sense why bows is longer but it's whatever i guess but that's what makes bow a really strong brawler but on top of that the other gadget is very strong both star powers are very strong and bow itself you know it doesn't really get countered um it doesn't counter anything specifically with just the shots it counters tanks with or anything really with the mines but 
it doesn't really counter anything or get countered so if you're just a solid player and can play bow properly bow is a very very good pick this is going to be number three now the top two are very hard to choose which one is number one and which one is number two because they're kind of like different metas and they're kind of the heads of their meta the bosses of the meta you know kind of like the head of the snake if you would say of the meta so we're going to go into it and we're going to show you guys these top two brawlers right now. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what number two is. So coming in at number two, we have none other than Poco. Now, my last two videos have been about Poco. If you guys have watched that at all, you guys can see how easy of a brawler Poco is. I'm not going to go into it too much since I just recently did two videos about it. And you guys can watch both of them if you want to see how strong Poco is. But Poco, you know, super easy brawler. You don't really have to do anything. Very hard to die. Basically, all you have to do is heal your teammates, support your teammates. You don't have to go in at all. The shot's very easy to hit. Both star powers are really useful. The gadget's really useful. It goes well with basically every single brawler in the game. It's good in every single mode if you play it properly. But if you're not that good at Poco, it's good in gem. It's good in some bounty. It's even good in some heist. It's good in brawl ball. It's good in some siege. It's good everywhere. And as long as you play it properly, it's really easy. As you guys can see by this game over here, we absolutely destroy them really quickly uh, you know if sky doesn't go for that trick shot but there's nothing bad about poco doesn't get countered by too much if you play it properly again as you guys can see i just heal sky and he's going to be able to get a free win and we get a free win just based off of one heal it is a very 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 good brawler and we are very lucky that control is the meta right now because if any tanks were meta then poco in that tank would be absolutely lethal but with that being said we're gonna hop into the number one spot and this brawler is just ever so slightly better than Poco, but it is one of the most annoying brawlers, one of the most toxic brawlers, and one of the most overpowered brawlers in a long time. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what number one is. Now hopping in at spot number one, we have Max. Now I myself am not a very good Max. In fact, I barely ever play Max. But with that being said, Max is one of the easiest brawlers I've played in a very long time. There is nothing bad about Max. It literally never runs out of shots, has good DPS, has good range, has pretty good health, moves faster than brawlers. When Max was introduced in the game, he was supposed to be a support brawler that helps out other brawlers, gives them speed, you know, gives them agility, helps them go up. But Max single-handedly is like the strongest brawler right now. And then on top of that, you have the fact that it just helps out your other brawlers as well. It's just like completely unfair. You know, the debate is kind of max versus speed, you know, or max versus Poco if you want speed or heals on your team. But max is too good. Both star powers are too good. The gadget's too good. Everything about this brawler is way too good. And that is going to be the number one spot. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. I think it's a pretty accurate list if I'm going to be honest. But there are a lot of other brawlers that could make it into the top 10. But this top 5 is kind of solidified as the top 5. So anyways, it's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, smash that sub button. Smash that like button. You guys already know what to do. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again later. Peace. And let's go. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got... Oh, wait. I already did that. I'm kind of silly. All right. Bye.